so if you can solve a problem if you can think at the problem very quickly very efficiently how the solution is working why you are not able to think right at the end of the day you have to develop the software Hello everyone, welcome to this video on how to become a software engineer in 2022 by Coding Ninjas, myself Vishesh and I will be taking you through this video. So in this video, we will be looking at the full roadmap, how to become a software engineer, what are the skills that we need to develop and what are the important must to problem solving questions in DSA that we need to do. So we will be looking at the complete roadmap, complete path to become a software engineer in 2022. So this is going to be very, very useful video for all of you and to get the whole idea you should watch the whole video till the end and stay with me and if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to our coding ninjas channel and yeah hit the bell icon to get the latest updates so without any delay let us begin let us see how we have to begin so guys to become a software engineer it depends whether you want to go into the big product based companies or you want to go into some startups so the skill set is little bit different why because the software engineer big companies product based companies they focus on problem solving a lot right why they focus on problem solving because these big companies use their own tech stack within their company so that stack tech stack is not publicly so you can't learn that tech stack so how can they judge you on that tech stack so that's why they judge you on the problem solving so if you can solve a problem if you can think at the problem very quickly very efficiently then they thought that you are a good guy to work at that company right so this is the way they uh, look at you the big product based companies while in startup you have to just go there and start working immediately you have to immediately begin writing the code you don't have the time to uh, learn new things and then start working right so that's not the thing in startups you have to go and there and do a lot of work right so you should have uh, the good development skills uh, while working for the uh, startups so you have to go with a very good development uh, background while working in a startup so this way the skill set is little bit different right now uh, let us see for each of these difference like how we can prepare so guys uh, let us start with uh, the roadmap for the big product based companies so you have to learn dsa right so because a problem solving is the main focus you have to learn dsa and in dsa what do you have to do you have to learn dsa from some course and then you have to practice problems because in interviews they are going to ask you some implementations working of some uh, data structures but they are definitely going to ask you some problems and uh, that is the must do thing so how you will learn data structures as i said you have to do some course definitely you have to do some course right so i'm not saying paid course or free course that's your choice uh, whatever looks you uh, easy but one thing i can tell you that there are amazing courses available on coding ninjas website that are available in c python and java right so these courses come with a very unique feature that is the spot of teaching assistant they actually help you like in a particular problem how to think so suppose you are given a problem and you are not able to think who you will approach to you won't be able to approach someone who will actually see like what is the problem you are facing who will actually understand your thought so no one is that free to understand your thought right so that sort of teaching assistant is very very helpful in that courses so definitely you can click on the link given in the description below and try to explore the courses that are amazing and you can look at the other courses as well right on the coding ninjas website first part you have to do the course now after doing the course you will be solving some problems in the course itself but solving those problems you sometimes do not get that confidence why you do not get because you are doing the dsa for the first time right it's very difficult to attempt all the problems by ourselves right so you take the help of teaching assistants that's for sure you take the help of teaching assistant you complete the course with the help of teaching assistants right so but how you will get the confidence this will not give you confidence you will be knowing like how to use data structures like what are the data structures but how to solve a new problem 
you have to practice a lot so from where you will practice there are different platforms to practice right now you can dive into the competitive programming as well and you can basically practice on code studio and lead code so let me tell you about something about code studio so code studio is free platform by coding ninjas where you can practice a lot of interview problems and you can look at the interview experiences of other people also which is very very important right so suppose you are going for some company you want to know which are the popular questions asked in this company so you can read the interview experiences of various people so you can basically understand what type of uh, questions that a particular company is asking right so this is the way to crack the interviews and one more thing you can access the guided pass for free on code studio platform so guided pass basically teach you from the very zero to the very hero level right so you will be getting notes you will be doing some mcq questions and then some coding problems so this is about the code studio now you can practice on other platforms as well like code chef code forces lead code right these are also amazing platforms and if you want to dive deep into the cp you should go with it right because it will actually help you to master data structures and algorithms so indirectly if you're doing cp you will be mastering some topics in dsa what are those topics those are binary search graphs dynamic programming very very important right and trees and one more topic number theory so these are the topics that are mostly asked in online test for the companies and in the interviews also right so you are actually mastering your dsa very well if you dive into competitive programming but if you don't want to go into competitive programming then just go with the lead code or core studio solve as many questions as you can pick a topic do 20 to 25 questions of every topic so do some five to six easy questions then 10 to 15 medium questions and then six to seven hard questions as well so if you're not able, able to solve hard questions then go with the solutions no problem you have to go with the solution but generalize the solution understand like how the solution is working why you are not able to think right uh, so you have to generalize that you will be like generalizing in this way like where i can apply this type of solution what would be the hint to uh, recognize where I can apply this solution. So you have to understand and identify that hint. In this way, you can watch the solutions and you can look at the solutions definitely if you are not able to solve a problem, right? So this is about like how to master DSC, how to practice DSC. Now for big product based companies, you have to do a little bit of development also. So I'm not saying mastering development, but yes, little bit of development. You need some projects in your resume. So you can do any development like web development app development machine learning right so you can do any kind of development you can choose any of these three paths and go with one path and do some really cool projects that you can mention in your resume it's not like that you have to completely master the development and then mention your resume you can basically take the help from youtube right you can make your project by understanding from youtube right but you should have the clear understanding of the project if someone asks you about that project you should be able to explain what are the tech stack use why you use that tech stack not other tech stack not other options right why you use that particular tech stack you should have the answers to these questions so that's very important now this is the path for big product based companies now coming to the startups so startups uh, basically need ready to work persons they don't want to teach you much right before starting the work so you have to very very cool with the development side so if some startup needs some uh, web d guys so you have to be very very master in web d if some startup needs some i should say app d guys you have to be very very a master in or pro in fd so this is the way to apply for startups if you mention a dsa like things competitive programming like things in the resume while applying for startup then the chances are less to get hired even you can get hired for a very big product based companies right that's the way startup works actually this is a way you can get into the product based companies or startups you can become actually a software developer at the end of the day you have to develop the software now how actually you develop a software so there's a software engineering process right you first analyze your problem right you basically then set the requirements what are the requirements right then you try to design the software 
like how to design you basically draw on paper like uh, what will be the modules in my software how the modules will be interacting you can go with the structure charts you can go with the class diagrams uml diagrams in general i should say activity diagram right or state diagram sequence diagram these are some diagrams that are very very important for a software developer to know you have to actually design the software first before actually implementing it so tech part coding part comes little later first you have to design and designing takes a lot of effort actually if you are given some problem and you are not able to easily think like how you will be designing this software so i have personally experienced the software engineering course in my semester actually i did that course also little bit interestingly and i get some idea like how the things actually work so uh, though i am not very very well confident in those diagrams but yeah i have idea how to think now i can definitely think at some problem so guys this is the way to become a software developer or engineer i should say so now you have the clarity like whether you want to go for startups if you are really really interested in web development initially but you are not interested in data structures as much then go for that startups directly so guys if you are only interested in dsa then it's not like that you can go into product based at the end of the day you have to do some kind of development in the big product based companies also right i would recommend you to follow this path to become a software developer in 2022 and this is very very important part so thank you so much guys for joining me in this video and i hope i have helped you in some way and guys one more thing if you like this video make sure you hit the like button down below and share it with your friends so that they can also get some kind of help and if you have any doubt or you disagree with me in this road map you can definitely mention that in the comments i will try to negotiate with you i will try to discuss that with you i would love to discuss actually right so yeah thank you so much for joining me in this video bye guys take care